CH is true, and this is a personal meditation on something, an area that I've been growing in. You'll notice that I began this channel with a lot of emphasis on theoretical subjects, theoretical math, theoretical physics. I talked about the continuum hypothesis. I talked about whether antimatter was matter traveling backwards in time, as Feynman speculated, or whether dark matter or would really be an S particle on another brain. And it's interesting, there is a recent discovery that might possibly point in that direction. And here we go, I speculated on it years ago. Or does life exist in bacterial form and, and out there in the solar system on traveling around in spores? I mean, a lot of speculations over the years, but these have been highly theoretical. And now my new focus is on head and hands and the heart, all integrated. And this is a very new thing for me, and I don't claim to be some kind of an expert on it. I have a lot of growth in my life, but a movement from the theoretical to the integrative. Not just integral calculus, but an integral life. And although I still love theoretical physics, I'm still studying theoretical physics, I'm moving to electronics, the, the very rudiments of electrical engineering, where I will have to use my hands. And I'm hoping that this channel will be a kind of audio meditation on that growth in my own life to that whole complete manhood that I discussed during my manhood series. It's not something where I'm there yet. I'm the first to admit that. But I'm getting there. Furthermore, I want to discuss a little bit about why I haven't talked much about the subject of conspiracy over the years. A lot of people, and this is a little bit connected to the head, hands, heart issue, but a lot of people have said, well, that CH is true. He doesn't believe in such and such a conspiracy, so he's got to promote the government line. For instance, the Hiroshima isn't real conspiracy, that one. Therefore, CH is true has to be a promoter of the government line, but Actually, I was studying the subject of conspiracy since I was eight years old. I knew about overthrow of elected governments by the Central Intelligence Agency since before I was a teenager. I mean, maybe 10. I, it's hard to remember, but I was not yet in junior high school. So I remember being told by my mother when I asked, you know, when the Nazis were killing millions of people, I asked, why didn't the police arrest them? which of course they did, but, you know, initially under the Weimar Republic. But she told me, well, they took over the police. They became the police. And so I learned very early about the issue of issues around liberty and power and have discussed those on this channel in very broad senses and more of a philosophical sense. But, and, and I have been interested in that subject over the years. I'm actually well ahead of these people who've just woken up and they're just suddenly doing these YouTube channels and selling videos. I knew this from as a little kid. And yet, like, this, like theoretical physics, like theoretical math, just simple knowledge about something without application can lead to an imbalance. When you know something about the world, you need to then have positive constructive actions to mirror your knowledge. Otherwise, you're better off not knowing. In the case of theoretical physics, it's good to know. It's good to know theoretical physics, but it's also good to be able to build things using electronics. Using to, It's good to be able to play around with radios. I remember doing this as a kid, but stopped as an adult. And so an imbalance in my life where... There's a lot here, but is there a lot here, and is there a lot here? Would, would arise. The same with set theory. If it just becomes an imbalance, what happened to Cantor and Gödel could happen to other people as they, they get so off into the quest for truth that they forget the balance. And so it is with people who have a lot of head knowledge, they understand the world, they know the latest machinations about how uh, inventions are suppressed because of the oil interest and that type of thing. But okay, you know that, but what positive, nonviolent, democratic, constructive actions are you engaging in? Even if it's just saying hi to your neighbor and smiling. 
I mean, that doesn't seem like a very political act, but trust me, in this very self-centered area that I live in, that's sometimes a very political act, because what you're saying is, I'm not going to let the system grind me down. If you think about it, that's a very political statement, just to smile uh, to your neighbor. And so it is that I'm growing in a lot of areas. I'm, I still love theoretical physics. I still love theoretical math. I still study these things. The conspiracy thing I'm kind of letting go, uh, moving to, to more of uh, what positive actions in the world I can take and, and do, and not so much uh, how can I huddle into a corner and read about what's going on because there's not a whole lot that's really being done to transform it. By, doing that, by just doing that. And I'm focusing on the whole person. How do I have the sovereignty? How do I have the independence in the world? How do I be the person who's able to sustain myself physically? I sustain myself biologically. I sustain myself mentally and emotionally. That's the goal of the most ancient of philosophers. And that is the answer to how then shall we live, whether the Stoics, the Epicureans, the pre-Socratics, the Socratics, um, Plato, Aristotle. Sadly, there was an imbalance that entered in towards the very end of the Hellenistic period in the late, as Rome was, became an empire, then it continued into an imbalance. But hopefully through a restoration of the most elementary idea that philosophy is the art of living, that, that, that politics is also an art of living, that, that even physics in a strange way has as much to do with the motion of our lives, and this is a very, very ancient Greek concept, but as much to do with the motion of our lives as anything else. And so I'll just leave you with that personal private meditation. I don't have all the answers, which is why I invite comment on this. Comment intelligently. Please, CH is true, 